Hi everyone. So in my previous recording, I showed you how I transformed this image just to give it a little bit more balance. So if you missed that, just go back to the previous video. It's super short and you can rewatch that. The next thing I want to do on this image is add a sky. So with the new Photoshop updates, there is a beautiful new feature in here called sky replacement. So I am just going to go into edit and I'm gonna go sky replacement. And I already played with this, so I know that I like this one that comes up here. But if you click on the arrow down, you can see that they are, there's a lot of different skies in here. So there's sunsets and blue skies, and I believe you can even import your own. So if you have the painterly skies or something like that, you can just click on the arrow and to import sky images. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with this one. And I'm going to show you if you come down here to the foreground lighting and play with that a bit, you can see it's giving my lighting just a little bit of a different effect. So that's getting deeper. And if I move it to the left, it's getting a bit lighter. And again, edge lighting, you can you know, increase or decrease that. You can even play with the color adjustment here a bit. And I'm good with the way that it is, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit OK. The next thing I'm gonna do is click onto my Sky Replacement group here. It automatically groups it for you. And I may just take down the opacity a little bit just to give it a little bit more softness. So that is pretty much all I would do so far to that. You can see it does a really good job. Okay, so once we're done with that, I can go ahead, I'll go ahead and make a screenshot of that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten it. And now we're ready to go ahead and edit this image. So I'm gonna start with Portrait Retouch. Actually, let's go right into Painterly. We're gonna go into the Painterly 2 collection because we can do a retouch in here because she doesn't really need much at all. So I'm going to just go ahead and start with Painterly Perfect Smoother. And I'm just going to go ahead and give her a little bit more softness. And I like this one because it really doesn't distort too much. And I'm going to go over oops, her eyelids. And then we can go over the rest of her skin because I want to give this just a nice painterly feel to this image. So I'm going to go ahead and take that down a bit. And then we're going to go into our painterly skin tone. And I'm just going to go ahead and use this painterly tone one. And I'm going to paint this all over my subject, including her clothing. Because it's so neutral and mellow, you can get away with it for this one. But you can see that just gave her a nice creamy tone. It's almost the tone is almost matching the hues of the sky right now. I'm going to go ahead and take that down a bit. And I really do like that look a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and use Painterly Tone 7 and give her just a little bit more color on her cheeks. And you can see there what that did. Okay, so we'll go ahead and flatten that. And then I will go into the Painterly Skin Shine. And I may play with a few of these. I'm going to try with a golden first. And that is looking gorgeous. So probably stick with this one. I'm just going to go ahead. And paint that on. So that just gave her a nice glow. I'm going to take that down a bit. And we'll flatten that. We'll go into the Painterly Lip Smoother. 
which I don't normally go into this one, but her lips are a little bit chapped, so we're just going to smooth those out just a teeny bit. I went over, so I just grabbed my white brush. And I'm also going to take this opacity down a bit. There we go. And I'm just going to give it a nice little softness. And then I'm going to go ahead and skip the painterly eye pop because her eyes are, you know, looking down. And then I'm also going to skip the painterly hair texture because I want to, when I run one of the, the painterly textures, that's going to add some some softness to her hair and we are just going to go right down to those right now I'd like to do those first and just see what they look like so I'm going to start with the no paint and go with Blake and just see what that looks like and that is giving us a really pretty feel I like that a lot and then we will go into um let's see Okay, let's go into Da Vinci's a go-to for sure. And I do like that one as well. Let's go into one more and go into let's try Turner. Let's see what that does. Okay, I think I'm like I'm gonna go into uh, let's go into Rockwell. That might be what I'm looking for. Nope. I'm going to go ahead and stick with um, Da Vinci. And that's just giving me that little bit of softness that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and take that down a bit. And then I'm going to come in here. And I am just going to go ahead and actually I really like this on her skin and all I know it's I don't normally leave it on because but because she's looking down I just think it looks really soft and pretty so I'm gonna leave that just as is okay the next thing I'm gonna do is go into our finishing brushes and I'm gonna go into let's go into the fill shadow brush And just gonna add a little bit more shadow in here sorry I went over there just a little bit too much I'm gonna take a little bit of this off of the top of her head okay and then I'm gonna go into my tack sharp details And I want to go over the eyes with that. And then I'm going to go into my light leak brush. And we're going to add just a little bit more of this into the background. And then I'm going to take that down quite a bit. But you can see there, just kind of lifted the shadows, but it's giving it a little bit more color, which I really like. And I'm going to go ahead and flatten that one. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that again. But this time I'm going to go ahead and do it on the sand. And I'm going to select a color, this pink color, in her dress. And what I'm going to do is just keep my brush big and sort of tap over. And I'm liking the softness of this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that down a bit. And then I am just going to get my brush, my opacity to about 50%. And I'm going to mask this off of her a bit.
Okay. And then let's go into our Blur Distractions brush. And this, I'm just going to kind of run it over the sand here in the foreground. Just to give that a little bit of added softness. And there we go. Okay, so let's go into our Glowing Vibrance brush. And this one I'm gonna go ahead and bring out the colors of her dress a little bit more. And I'm gonna get that off of her skin. And then I'm gonna take that down a bit. And I'm also going to get my brush a little bit bigger and just go over the sky a bit. Okay. I am liking that so far. And then let's go into our fin finishing vignettes. We can either um, try one of these or we can pick a color vignette, which I like to do a lot. So I'm just going to go ahead and select pick a color vignette. And I'm going to grab my pink tone from her dress and hit OK. And I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just go into this mask. And with my black brush, I'm going to go over my subject because I don't want any more of that fall off on her. And I think that that looks pretty good there. So we are just going to go ahead and show you the before and after. So this is where we started. This is after I transformed the this side to the side. And then that is our final beach image. I hope you enjoyed this and please come back for more videos. Thanks guys. Bye bye.